Well, the games don't get any easier. Um, Arsenal next uh, at St Mary's, a 3-0 defeat in December. Um, Romeo and Salazu were missing through suspension for that one. It's when Big Willie made his debut. Um, really a day to forget. What sort of uh, game are you expecting on, on Saturday from, from Arsenal, Steve? Their form's been a bit up and down, but they're still hoping for, for that top four finish. I mean, they are they are weird, aren't they? To to kind of follow as a neutral, but just just because there's so much noise attached to them on social media, I mean, their fan base are just oh god, they're pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> just what a what a bunch. Um, like literally, they'll be every... piling in on the comments on Good. YouTube. When this goes um, out. Like every like every every single win. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna win the league. Um, no, nothing can stop us now. We. Um, uh, team Team Arteta, he's he's the best manager ever. Um, and then they go and lose at home to Brighton. Yeah, well done, lads. And now it's and now everything's a disaster. And um, and they should sack everybody and um, have a march to the stadium to uh, to get a new owner and and all this sort of nonsense. It's like, oh, give us give it a break. Um, at the end of the day, Arsenal are still Arsenal are a good team uh, with a good group of players that basically occasionally get ahead of themselves they're not as good as they they're not as good as they think they are um and occasionally they need a massive kick up the arse um kind of, well i mean kind of reminds you of someone doesn't it really <laughs> um so yeah you would imagine that at some point this week they will have that kick up the arse and they won't be quite as um sort of abject as they as they apparently were um yesterday at the emirates but the same at the same time we've got a half decent record against them um they're they're certainly beatable i mean the fact that brighton have gone there and scored twice um i mean brighton the the xg demons who basically just go against the <laughs> prevailing wind in every single game i mean if they're on top you can guarantee they're not winning that game if they're if they're under the cosh then they might sneak it um but yeah i, I think it will be an open game, I would imagine, because Arsenal seem that seems to kind of be the way that Arteta wants them to play. They like playing it out from the back quite a lot. Um, Ramsdale, I think, has been a very good signing for them on that basis. I still don't rate him particularly, um, but he has had a, he has had a, um, a better season than I expected him to have uh, behind that back four. Um, but they're, I mean, they seem to be miss, seem to be picking up a couple of injuries now. I think um, Party's out, isn't he? T uh, Tierney's done for the season. Um, and the Japanese fella at right back is still out, I think. Tommy yeah. Asu, yeah. Um, so, um, we'll see our best mate Cedric again, I imagine. Um, <laughs> wouldn't that be fun? I'm sure we'll get a, a nice warm welcome, Glenn. You were saying that they're you know they're nowhere near as good as, as Chelsea, um, and it's going to be a, a different game. Um, can you see us getting anything out of this? It depends what team, what size team turns up. I mean, so inconsistent, yeah, Arsenal. I mean, Party being injured is is massive, and Arteta seemed to have a bit of a madness yesterday because I noticed he played Odegaard as one of his defensive midfielders, um, and he moved Xhaka to left back to cover Tierney, which just seems seems mad. So he they didn't have a central midfield, which probably you know half explains why they got beat by Brighton. Um, he's got four sort of decent attacking midfielders, you like Saka, Smith Rowe, Martinelli and Odegaard, and he seems to try and shoehorn them all into the team. Um, you know, occasionally one gets left out. And that they they see they still have a slight sort of soft underbelly about them that 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 can be got at. Um I mean, you know, Lacazette's going to be in the news because he hasn't scored for about 12 years. Um and he's coming to play against us. So he's got a good record against us. That's get, get your money on him. That's a guarantee. Um <laughs> you know that they seem the goalkeeper in central defence is better than it has been recently. Um, Ramsdale, it's quite a low bar though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. But White and Gabriel aren't, aren't bad, but it, it's nothing. It's nothing outstanding. We can get at them. Um, I look forward to watching Brozier play against Gabriel. If we give Brozier the right service, Gabriel's a walking red card when he gets when he gets rattled. So that's that's something we got to play on. Um, I remember when we played we played him last year, and we all we all dug into Cedric, and he actually had a really good game. <laughs> um, which was really, really irritating. Um, but th they're there to be beaten. You know, they're, they'll they'll be better this week than they were. You know, they were, sorry, they'll be better next week than they were this week. Um, but I, I I really don't see anything to be too scared of. But I'm assuming Saints are going to turn up. 
um, if, if we turn up and we we treat it like you know the games against the bigger size when we had our little run a few weeks ago, then then I don't see any reason why we can't get something. But if, if we turn up like yesterday, it's a, you know we, well we might as well not turn up. And do you think we're going to set up more defensively, Dan? You were talking a bit about the pressing after the game and, and how it kind of left things open for Chelsea. Uh, it's, it's going to look a little bit different on at yeah. the weekend, surely. No, yeah, he did say that the the way the team defends next week, obviously alluding to Arsenal, that it will be completely different to to how we saw them play against Chelsea. But I kind of think the proof will be in the pudding of that. Uh, well, that, there's not really too much. I don't think he can drastically change the personnel are all the same aren't they um mm-hmm. lianko has been back in training so maybe he brings lianko in and drops bednarek or, or salasu who shouldn't be immune to criticism his levels have dropped considerably in recent weeks i think um you know he was yeah i mean he's still young that that's the only thing about that he's still only what 22 23 um but it, it's hard to be optimistic for the arsenal game other than it is Arsenal and of the kind of top teams, they probably aren't, they're, they're probably the worst of the top teams um, in my opinion anyway. But as Glenn said, if Southampton don't turn up there, they'll get another Tonkin, won't they? It, it all just depends on whether Southampton turn up. And that's the, and that's crazy that we're even saying that. Mm. I mean, it's, it's outrageous really that, that we're actually thinking, well, Southampton might not turn up again. And if they don't, they get beat heavily again. Um, but if they do, Arsenal, are nowhere near as good as Chelsea. They haven't got a striker. Um, neither did Chelsea, to be fair. Yeah, but that, that didn't stop them. I mean, I must stop digging out Timo Werner. Um, but... I'll tell, I tell you what, I, just on that, I thought Kai Havertz was brilliant yesterday. Yeah, he's superb. He yeah. was superb. And I've never really rated him that much, no. but he was great. I mean, mind you, I could still play football now if I was given the amount of space he was given. But um, <laughs> there you go. Sorry, that's an aside. But... No. Um, should we do some score predictions for the Arsenal game as much as it, it pains me to ask um, Steve you, you've avoided this for a, a few weeks do you want to go first with your prediction yeah, I, don't, I don't think I've got anywhere near any of the any of the um, action. I think the Leeds one I might have, I might have picked but other than that I'd have been nowhere near um, oh Christ I'll take a muggy one all draw I think okay just, um, just anything to stop the rock Glenn Oh God! Um, Pick a number out of the air, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. Um, are we going to turn up or not? <laughs> that should be the coin. question each week. We'll flip, replace it with that. Flip the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Flip, flip the coin. Um, I'll, I'll say we're due one more, one more bad one. So I go two 0 defeat. Oh, okay, I'm making a note of these. And uh, Dan, I'll just end on a positive note then, and let's say two 0 win, which I have no faith in whatsoever but <laughs> play the percentages now don't you it's the <laughs> well, you, you'll, you'll get you'll get good odds on that That'll i'm closing fun, in sure. on the uh the title of league prediction so i've got to got to play is, the yeah. men got a devon locket yeah 